Okay, it's like it's like <laughs> it's like 100 degrees outside, and oh boy, Austin here is like it's like in Wisconsin in the snow. That's my son Ashton. Ashton, why aren't you flexing like you don't normally do? And that's all. Austin, what are you doing? Why, why are you creeping? It's so weird. So that's Austin. That's Ashton. These two are really, really close friends. They both get in trouble the same way. Hey, there's no common sense happening up there between the two. They both cannot walk past a mirror without stopping and flexing. And they're like this. He's live. So I yes, everybody's watching right now. So, anyways, I wanted to... Austin, Austin, you're hardcore, man. I... Oh, are you flexing? Oh, no. No. Okay, you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> say, hi. What are you doing? You lifting your sleeve up? You want to flex some more action? Okay. All right. So um, that's my son. That's his closest friend. And together they are a team of good, good people. All right. All right. Get off my screen. I got work to do. There's no hope. All right. So welcome. Uh, we are going to be doing a uh, sector uh, 132 HDLRC. Uh, let me show you picture in picture. Um, and if there is noise or singing or terrible singing, terrible singing in the background, that's my son and his friend who think they are the next Eminem and Eminem. And uh, they're not. So, no, you're not. You're bye. Oh, that was fun. That's my kids right there. Awesome. All right, so here's what we got. We got a customer that wants the sector, basically the sector 132 stack, like uh, the setup, right? The 4K setup, which is with the Zeus uh, 35 amp, the new Zeus, and um, and uh, yeah, but he does not want the uh, uh, Vista. So I figured we'd go through this, and we're gonna swap this out for a Cadex uh, Tarsier, which I happen to have sitting, sorry, I'm kind of off yeah. camera, so but it is. Right here. And behind me, what you can hear is you can hear my wife, Samantha, and one of the new folks that we have helping us here, Gracie, is back there. You can't see them, but they're back there and they're yip yapping, so you'll hear that while we're working. Uh, but they're working very hard, and I appreciate their help. Okay, so we're going to open this uh, uh, Tarsier right here. Okay, and um, we are going to get this ready while we also get rid of the. Um, uh, Vista, okay? So here we go. Let's get started real quickly. Get all this sorted out. And uh, take it from there. Here we go. First things first, let me get my screen drivers. My kids haven't ruined them yet. And by the way, if you want any of these screwdrivers, these are the new electronic series screwdrivers. So if you go to our website and you go to uh, tools and then you go to hand tools and right under those electric, electric screwdrivers, all the wow stick uh, series electric ones i mean they're awesome they got seriously bright leds this one comes with like 64 pieces uh 64 bits it's everything you need especially if you're doing drone work um and so uh i think you'll be very happy with that and the cool thing about these is you know, when you like i just now when i was taking the screw off it's it's in there so uh tight that uh it won't kick in but you can use it like a regular screwdriver and then go ahead and kick in the electric part afterwards so i was really impressed with that it's got plenty of torque here um and uh, anyway, so I'm just going to get started with this. So basically what we're going to do right now is we're going to remove all the guts, right? And we're going to trade it out. Uh, it should be pretty seamless. Uh, this customer is using uh, DSMX, is using a Lemon RX um, uh, diversity receiver, which is the zero, LM0037, I believe, model number. Um, and so the concern was that, and I did, did double check with HLRC because I haven't opened the board up. Uh, to look for the DSMX 3.3 uh, volt, but it is on there. Uh, Wendy from HLRC sent me that this morning with the schematic on it. So we're gonna pull that out as well. All right, so first thing, let's get this uh, Tarsier out of here. First thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and just start piecing it out. Um, camera's gonna come off. Uh, so we're gonna be very careful with this, all right? No, I don't know, these last time I checked, oh no, this will be all right. I'm gonna to need to save the, 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 the mounts though, so let me just go ahead and pop this off here. There's one, there's two. I was gonna take the standoff off, but uh, there is really no need to. I'm able to get that off without any problem. All right, but what I do wanna do is I wanna get this camera out. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside for right now. 
and set them in the order that they came off. So that's left and right. And now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and take off. What is plugged in? That's doing. Oh yeah, that's my memory stick. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the. What is that? Let's go see who it is, and I don't see anybody. We may have some beeps going on, guys. I apologize for that. Um, it's our. It's a, again, our system is trying to detect movement on the property, and sometimes with all the storms that we have, it picks up uh, movements from the trees and, and shrubs. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take these off. Okay. Holy cow, let me go mute. Get that stuff ringing all over the place. Let me go mute that real quick. Sorry, guys. Yeah, we'll do it like that. And I'll turn my phone so we don't have to deal with that. Apologize. Okay, so um, let's see. Let me go ahead and just desolder this real quick. So I've got to get my soldering iron on. I did not do that yet. My apologies. And I could have sworn I just told this thing to mute itself. But I guess it will now. Okay, so looking at this board, um, I do need to, uh, let me see how I want to do this here. Uh, we'll have to put our, our VTX in. I'm trying to think of where I want to put that in at. So let me see. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, I can't actually, never mind. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare to take out the antenna here. So we'll just go ahead and remove that. So we're pretty much ready to go here. Right now, all I need to do is just get this, uh, get these cables unwound from my soldering machine. There we go. All right, so let's get started, shall we? Is going. Oh, I see. All right, so let me get this out. Okay. There we go. And we won't be using this because this gentleman is going to be using DSMX. So already we know that the 3.3 volt. And I want to verify this because, uh, so bear with me a second. I do want to verify from what Wendy sent me. So you guys are going to see this real quickly. I hate to do that to you. So let me, uh, let me see if I can give you um, a different angle here while I do this. So here, I'll give you this angle here. God, that camera needs to be adjusted, but let me just kind of put this here. All right, so let me see if I can do that real quickly. While I'm looking at this, uh, what I want to verify yeah, it is. It's right next to it. So for the gentleman who's working on this, I'm just going to move the cable over for you. All right. The 3.3 volt is right next to it. Um, so right next to the ground is the 3.3. So the 5 volt is on one side of the ground and 3.3 is on the other. So I'm going to go ahead and move that. I know your uh, friend, I believe his name, uh, Fred, 
Fred actually called me and was concerned about making sure that we had the 3.3. He said he didn't see it. I didn't look to see if it was here when uh, he made the comment. I assumed it was, but I contacted HDLRC just to verify, and obviously it is. So I'm going to go ahead and redo this. Okay, so I'm just going to move the power over to the other side of the ground. All right, just and, and this isn't this isn't really part of this deal, but if I'm in here already, I might as well just knock this out. So let me go ahead. There it is. So 3.3 volt is now connected, and then I will go ahead and connect this one here, and we should be all set for this new owner to be able to put in his DSMX Lemon RX there diversity receiver. And now I'm going to turn this around, and we will pull out the. Um, power ground and video feed so here we go so let's go video first oh you guys can't see that can you sorry I apologize I'll try to do this without the uh, uh, microscope there or the uh, magnifier glass sorry not microscope so let's go ahead and pull out the uh, let's get the video here well, you know what doing without the magnifier is a little more difficult than I wanted it to be well, let's just try and if not, I'll, you know what? I'll just get the little head magnifiers right here. Might as well do something. Make sure I don't screw this up for this poor customer who is counting on me to do my job properly. All right? Oh, my light doesn't work. All right, well, let's try the other ones. Maybe I didn't put batteries. Here we go. This is screwed up blurry, though. So I need this one with this lens. So lame. There you go. Okay, that should be able to let me work a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Need to get just a little bit more heat down here. There we go. Okay, and let's go ahead and take the power to the ground as well. ground and here is the power all right so we have for the most part what do I got left oh I got another ground that's right go ahead and take that off as well I want to clean this up though because this I don't know if they if HRC uses flux every time they solder or not but sometimes I find the pads are a little worn uh, all right in either case so here we go this is the brand new Vista that we're removing okay we're gonna set that aside for now and what we're gonna do I want to clean this up though I don't I don't really like the way this looks on this the ground that was here so let me just kind of try to clean it up by moving it over That'll do. All right, so we've got the Zeus now. This is a Zeus 35. It's all ready to go. I want to verify we have, oh yeah, we got our new, um, got another cool uh, meter, right? Another cool multimeter in. Um, so we're starting to carry these as well. You can find these on the website. Um, these are the smart multimeters and basically you just turn them on and it detects what you're trying to do. So if I'm trying to do a continuity test, it's ready to go. All right, so we've got no continuity there, but to verify, we do have it between grounds. We do not have it here. Uh, we'll test it with the ground again. We do, we do have it there and here, but not here. Excellent. So we have no continuity there between the positive, and these are going to be really good, guys. And these go all the way up to having capacitor. They can test uh, 
your caps, like you test everything. So there's four different models that we're carrying. Um, and if you go to multimeters on our website under tools, you will find them there. Uh, or you should, I'm, I've been updating it for the last couple days. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to get the, um, the Tarsier ready, right? And uh, the cool thing is uh, they, I, they are giving you a second cable when you get the kit. I don't believe that HGLRC sends this out, but it is kind of cool that they do give you a second cable. Um, you do want to be careful of this cable. This is the video I just did where this has problems. After a little bit of flexing, it will kind of throw in the towel on you. So let's go ahead and put our plan together on how we're going to do this. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is figure out how we're going to lay this board out. And here is the heat shrink, or the, I'm sorry, the heat board uh, that is going to go on it. And so we have to figure out how we want to lay this out and still have room for a VTX because we do need to add a VTX. So if I put this board here, and just to give you an idea, this is how we're going to put this on. Okay. So this board will go like so here. Oh, wait, that's my customer. Hold on. Hey. Hello. Hey, Rocky. Hey, good. Listen, man, which one, which VTX did you want me to send uh, with your, uh, I'm doing a live video, by the way, <laughs> for video. So you're on, you're on my video now. On that, uh, with, with your transmitter, which uh, VTX did you want? Which Maytech? Okay, so it's just the two mounting holes, not the four? You got it. It's in the box. It's out the door then. That's the one I figured you wanted. So I already did it. You got it, brother. Thank you so much. See you, man. Bye. Good. So we got that taken care of. Customer, you got to take care of him. That, that's a good man right there, man. He's good as gold. Uh, all right. So uh, the way I'm thinking of it is probably going to just go ahead and mount it like this and get the ribbon here inside. And I think that should be okay for the customer. I think that's going to be pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and mount. Get the camera mounted already. Um, where's my screwdriver? Here it is. So I'm going to line this up. Now I know a lot of you have asked me about why uh, HDLRC does not send, oh, that cable's, that's gonna be way too big, so we need to go with a small screw. HDLRC does not send the control board for the Cadex, and I don't know, I'll have to ask them about it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that they don't, you know, when they buy those uh, Cadex, they don't get like the whole package, all right? They're buying them in a bulk that would probably just get them uh, uh, the camera and the board and probably not even the wire harness in some cases. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm gonna ask them about that and see if there's an option that we can maybe uh, do to get you guys some of those. Just depends. I mean, it's always, you know, it's tough because everybody's always trying to get these quads at the lowest price possible. So you want the manufacturers, you, you basically force the manufacturer to compete on a level that makes them have to cut somewhere. I mean, you can't blame them. They're, they're you know, you, everybody wants these quads for dirt cheap. This is pretty big, this is pretty advanced technology for something that's gonna be dirt cheap in terms of uh, cutting prices. So they've got to cut somewhere, and I, I'm not I am not faulting them for this at all. I actually think if the customers want to pay more, then they should, and maybe HLRC can just offer that. Hey, if you want to pay five dollars more, you can have the control board with it. Um, that's probably a good solution, but you know I, I probably wouldn't uh, probably wouldn't expect anything more than that then to start. Uh, all right, so let's get this next one put in. All right, who's that? Okay. All right, so my goal here is gonna be, I'm trying to think if I can get less flex out of this camera the other way, but I don't think so. Let me just check real quick. Hey, Sam? Sam? Where, where did you go? Where did the boys go? No, I just took Gracie back. Oh, listen, uh, Rocky called. He okay. wants what I put in there, so if you close the box up, it's ready to go. Okay. Thank you. Where is it? Oh, I guess we'll just keep it like this. I think that's probably going to be the best way. Okay, so now that we're doing this... Cool look I got going, huh, babe? You like my little glasses? They look awesome. And I look super nerdy. Okay, so I guess what we'll do is we'll go like this. 
bring it down here. And we'll deal with the VTX in a second, okay? So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get the board mounted here first, all right? So we'll go ahead and take this off. There we go. And basically just start the mounting by getting the screws set in. And then from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this ready. There we go. All right, I think everything else is gonna be pretty good. That looks right. Yep, that looks good. All right, so let's go ahead now and get this mounted. There we go. And all we're doing here is we're just making sure the fit is good, okay guys? So I'm gonna make sure because I've got to put a plan together here for the VTX and as of right now, I'm kind of limited on where we're gonna go with this VTX. So one of the only options left is to go to the back here and try to make a little mount there for the VTX because the top of this is gonna be pretty much uh, filled as it is. And then we have to pick the VTX that we wanna go with too. So this is gonna be a little interesting. So uh, with that said, uh, what we can do now is, uh, what's cool about this is that when you order this when you order the bundle like we have it, you get all the wires. Usually I don't get these, so this is kind of like a little bit of a cool thing for me here. Um, so I'm going to check out the actual connector cable right here. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I like that. I do like that. Uh, and so there's a little control. OST controller there. Okay, so this I'm gonna check out as well. Alright, and obviously now realizing that I'm planning in the wrong direction here, I need to go ahead and get the cables ready. So I'm gonna leave this on. Alright, and I'm gonna fold this over for the time being. Actually, let me do this. It's gonna be a very quick install if I don't do it on video, it would have been done, but... And that's my kids back there making a ton of noise. So I'm gonna get the video, uh, the power here, the ground and the video put together. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready for that. your second wire for your ground and we'll get ready to use that too so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this one out here knowing that they need a second ground which they used on the Caddx as well I mean on the uh, Vista as well so I'm gonna go ahead and prep that first so I can get this side of the board done so let's go ahead and just take this wire and get ready to put it in this side uh, I am gonna take just a little bit of solder here and just make sure 
a little bit more. There we go. And I'm going to put that right here. want to get a clear view of this ground here. And I need some flux here, so we just get some of that. Go. as I can. All right. I'm going to raise the temp here just a little bit. I need this to kind of burn a little bit quicker than that. Okay, so uh, cleaning up the board here a little bit. Um, I am not still not too excited about the way this ground looks here. So I'm going to raise the temperature here so I don't have to be in this area too long, uh, waiting for it to heat up. Let me just do that, get this ready. clean this up a little bit. This is still not how I want to see it. There, that's better. All right. So now I will take the ground and put it back. And this will be the ground for the uh, RX. Okay. Then I will take the ground for the, uh, the secondary ground for the Cadex and put that there. Okay. Then I'll take the 3.3 volt, put it back as well, and everything is back to normal. Perfect. I'm going to get this glue going so I can have some more glue. All right, so we're good there. Now we're back to working on this side, right? So uh, first thing, let me go ahead and get this out of here. First thing here, we'll be again to test and make sure we have no continuity. So let's do that. I should have it here and here. Not here and here, and not here and here. Perfect. Okay, so now that that's done. I want to look here, and we know that our VTX is also going to be tied in with this. So what I'm thinking, my goal here is going to be to use the pad here, right? Use this cable to attach the uh, Cadex Tarsier to the board, and then I'm going to use the Tarsier pads on the back to attach to the VTX. All right, so that should work out pretty well. So let me just make sure I've got everything here lined up. And we're going to use our, our uh, let me see, what do I want to use here? I've got it on one. 
I'm gonna plug this in and see if that's how they have it configured, so bear with me a second. All right, so we're gonna go to beta flight. I'm gonna get that up on the screen for you guys to be able to see as well. So give me one sec here. What I wanna do is I wanna plug in the USB and I wanna make sure that they have the UART set, whichever UART they have set for smart audio from HGLRC is the one we're gonna use. So let me go ahead and plug this in. Let me get you the screen as well. Get beta flight launched and that way you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, so here we go. There we go. But no, close. Let me go ahead and just plug in my USB. They have nothing set for smart audio. Hmm. Well, tell you what. Um, oh, you know what? No, they had it here. So we're going to turn this off and we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Uh, and I believe we're going to be working with the IRC protocol. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm sorry. They had the MSP turned on for. Uh, so now I got to go grab me a VTX. So let me go see what I can find. And I'll be right back. Check. I think what we can do is we'll check the GTX Nano out. All right, let's just see. I believe that this will be adequate for what we're trying to fit here. And I think I can do it without too much hassle. So, the main thing I want to do now is I want to verify. Uh, let's see, with the GTX Nano, what I'm thinking. We might do, let me just check this out. It's a very small board, but it should work out pretty good. So let me verify real quick. Because we have room for just enough, right? Let me take this out. Okay, so using the GTX Nano, uh, I don't have that much room left, so my thought here is to get this down to the bottom here um, and mount it. And to do that on the GTX Nano, let me see what we've got here. So we're gonna go to our, I mean, we've got what? Uh, we've got three powers. That's ah, not enough, I don't think, 15 a lot. No, I can't do that. It's not going to be enough. So let me find another solution. I don't want, can't expect the customer to be satisfied with 15 more. So uh, give me a second and I'll be right back with something else. Here we go. Let's see if I can get this one. I mean, I may not be going with HGLRC for this though, but uh, now you know what? I'll do this. I'll try this. I'm gonna try the GTX Nano and just see how it goes. Because I think we'll be fine. I don't know. We'll check on the rest of it, but I, I do want to just go ahead and try this one to see how this pans out. So let me go ahead and I'll test it here before I ship it, but I'm just curious to see. All right, so let's get rid of this. Got too much crap on my desk now. All right. Okay. And so what we're gonna do, looking at our manual, right? If you wanna look at this manual properly, we're gonna see that we have our five volt, our ground, and our RX. None of the rest of it care about really. Um, well, actually, it's not sure we care about our video too. So uh, what I'm thinking about doing here uh, let's see. Um, uh, 
me see how I want to make this work. Give me one second to stare at this thing here a little bit. Okay, so we'll take our, yeah, that's fine what we'll do. All right, so we'll bring our, let's go ahead and get this one ready then. Uh, let's see, so we're gonna run that like that. It's not a very long run at all, so let's cut this right about here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and strip this wire. What is that looking at? What happened? Oh, whoops. I see what happened. That's not good. Hold on. Whole camera just got hit. I didn't realize that. It's not good. Now you see it all shaking. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these wires stripped out. The cool part will be that, uh, like I said, I'll, I can attach the... Um, the VTX the only thing I cannot do is I cannot uh, I can get the power and ground out of the Tarsier to the camera what I cannot get though will be the um, the VTX that's gonna have to come from the board but still that's all right all right so I'm just gonna tin these real quick so let me do that Now we'll cut them down short. There we go. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and attach these to the board, but we are gonna add our, use our flux pin. I don't know what they do upstairs, but it sounds like a bunch of elephants. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Not these, these. Okay. So we're going to put our camera here. And it's perfect because they got it all in a row here. So there's our camera, there's our 5 volt, and there's our ground. Okay. And so let's take the cables right here. We'll start with our camera. wait for them to tell me my food's ready. My wife is making sliders and I am so excited to have me some sliders. So that'd be nice. Camera. Five volts. All right. And let's get our ground. Perfect. Okay. So there's our camera five volt ground. There's our second ground that we know we're going to need. All right, and the only thing left that we're going to really tap on from here is going to be the VTX signal, uh, which is right here. The VTX pad, I mean, which is going to be right here. And there we go. We'll take some of these wires here, and then we have our uh, TX1. So let me take, let me get these wires here that they gave us. All right, so we're going to use our green for TX1. That'll go to our VTX. All right, let's do that. There we go. We're going to use our yellow that they gave us. 
for the VTX in the video. Okay, so these two will go to the small pad here. And then we will have our ground come off. I mean, we can, we could easily just attach it, I guess. I don't know, now I'm just wondering if I just wanna go ahead and get it all done from here. So, uh, let me see, what do I have here? Uh, ground. I need to do a continuity test just to see. So I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be ground. Hopefully I got continuity, yep. And then, what I cannot tell you, and I'm having to check real quick. Oh, that's battery, yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh, I'll pull the five volt off of the you know what? I can just come from here. So let me just do that. I'm going to take the ground from here. So I will not be jumping off of the uh, tarts here, the back of it. I'm just going to take the ground from here. Let me separate these wires real quick. Okay. Let's do this. Let me see if I can just squeeze right in there. I don't like that. Let me add a little bit more solder there. at the ground, and then I think I'll borrow the five volt from where the uh, pad was being used for the um, uh, FR Sky, the Free Sky, Free Sky uh, receiver uh, cables. And since they're not gonna be using that, since they're using the Lemon RX DSMX protocol, then we can go ahead and just borrow that five volt since they're using 3.3. So let's do that. And there we go. Okay, so now we have our five volt our VTX channel. We have our, R, our TX, RX and TX for OSD control. Okay. We have our ground, which is over here. Let me get these, let me not get these all tangled. So let me just do this, wrap this around. All right, there we go. And then, yeah, when we have our ground that's over here, this will all stay together for our VTX. Perfect. Okay. So there's that. I'm just going to twist these up. Awesome. Okay, and then we have all of our CADEX set up on this side. All right, so CADEX plus right here. All right, so I'll just wind this up for right now. Okay, and now it's looking very clean. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead, because these are very close, I'm just going to go ahead and layer this now with some Gorilla Glue. I want to make sure that everything stays down and out of the way and no strands of wire come up. All right, and I will do the same on this side. It's right here. Okay, and that secures the setup there. And now it's just a matter of soldering to our BTX. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the wire length like it is. It's kind of long, but there's no harm in this, especially because we may move it uh, depending on where we put it. So let me go ahead and just get this tinned up. So these are very small pads and my soldering iron, I did not put the smallest tip on this one. So we're just going to be really careful, but we should still be okay. Let me just go ahead and get this tinned up. And what we know we're using is we're going to use the five volt and we're going to use the uh, ground. All right, and we're going to use the RX, and we're going to use the video. Okay. Looks a little more clear on the other side, but oh well. Let's just make use of what we, make the best of what we got here. Try to figure out a way to get this wire to where we can solder properly. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Might as well just hope for the best. This. Place this on top. I'll put the pad here, and we will hope for the best. I think this might be too small to fit here, but we can always try. Yeah, that ain't going to work. So 
Sorry guys, I'm not trying to waste time here. I'm trying to just see if maybe I can get this to hold a little bit better while I'm working on it. I'm thinking I can, if I can just, I mean, I don't want to kill it here. I just want it to stay somewhat still, being that it's so darn tiny. But uh, no, so let's cancel that. And let's just put this on top so we have a safe place to solder to. And we'll just, I could tape it down, I guess, if I really need to. We'll find out in just a second if it's gonna move too much. Uh, main thing is, is there's not much wiggle room here because the pads are so close. So I've got to make sure I'm on with this, all right? And so part of that is gonna to be to crank up the heat. Part of that is gonna to be to make sure that I put my solder on the existing tin leads. And I'll hold off on the video one because it's kinda, all right, so let's start with the five volt. And if I, like I said, yeah, that's it. Already right off the bat, it's moving too much. So let me go ahead and tape it down because I cannot afford for this thing to wiggle away. So let me cut some tape. Hmm, that should work better. volt first okay ground five volt rx to tx and our video. And there we go. Now, assuming all that's done right, and it looks like it is, I mean, uh, I'm pretty confident that that's, yeah, that's set good. Every one of those is set well, I have no problem with that. So we're gonna let that set in a little bit. Let me get these wires kind of straightened out and twisted. There we go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna put a line of hot glue here, kind of protect these wires a little bit. Okay, let that cool. And then I'm gonna put a heat, well, I can't put a heat shrink around it, but I'm going to put a base on here at the bottom just to make sure. As a matter of fact, I might just use this tape for starters and then use some double-sided tape underneath that. So I just wanna make sure that we protect the bottom of this VTX as much as possible. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is mount it to the bottom of this frame, and we should be good to go. All right, so let's do that. You know what, one thing I'm thinking I may want to try. Let me bring this stuff and clean this up a little bit because there's something that I may want to try here. It may also help. Okay, so. On the top plate we have the lipo. You know, it wouldn't be so far-fetched to place this here, right? And since the lipo strap's not gonna be near that, we place that here and zip tie that. Actually, would give it some pretty cool airflow protection as well. Now I've got to find my double-sided tape, which somebody has moved. Um, all right, I'll find that in a second. Let me just see where I'm at with this. cleaning up in here and I can't find anything that I need so I'm gonna stop right here so I can go find the double sided tape I'm not gonna move anything here that way when we start the video and I'll be right back okay so give me just a all right so I went to go it's been quite a few hours actually since I sat down here and said I was gonna go to find some double-sided tape 
day got away from me, and as you can see behind me, it's it's nighttime now. Uh, so anyways, I just finally sat back down, and I'm going to use a, a different tape this time because my wife informed me that she used the last of my tape. I'm not even going to get into the conversation I had with her about it, but it's a little it's a little concerning when my 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 stuff is gone, but it was for a good use, so I can't argue with her. But in either case, I need to finish this job, uh, and I'm going to do that right now. Um, and I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up removing the uh, uh, the stands here in the back. So let me get to that real quick. Uh, because this is on there pretty good and I don't want to mess it up. Let me just go ahead and remove these out. Alright. Now that we get that out of the way, I can work with the tape here and the VTX. And so, what I'm going to do, or what I was going to do actually is I was going to put it on the top here, sorry. So what I'm going to do... Uh, let me see. As I will outline this area here. All right. Okay, I'll peel this back. All right. Okay, now let's see if we can get this. I need to move this over. I need to move this over just a little bit. So I'm going to heat it back up real quick. Get that glue nice and hot. Kind of move this over just a tad. And the tape doesn't need to move, but the unit needs to slide. There we go. Let me go ahead and get that hot up on there. Okay. I have to put this back down. This time I can have a little bit more room. There we go. Now I should be able to, perfect, so I'm going to fit this through, welcome this one, there we go, come back around, keep it somewhat straight because what we want to do here right is I want to cut a line here all right and I want to cut a line here all right 
and I want to remove that piece. This way, my zip tie falls perfectly in line with it and does not disturb the ability of the pad to hold the battery in place. It falls just underneath, okay? So now what I'll do is, actually, let me get this out of there. There we go. Just like that. Okay, so our VTX is in place. Should be no problems. All our glue is dried. Now we can pretty much start cleaning this up. So let me put the tweezers back. Let's put the tape back. And we can put quite a few things back actually. Okay, now the goal here will be to um, still mount our, uh, let, me, let me just kind of get this here. There we go. So the goal is going to be we still have our items to mount here and to solder on. Let me get the solder machine on. And um, now we'll add this antenna. There we go. And that will fit nicely. All right. And we can put that through the antenna mount if we want to. That shouldn't be an issue at all. That'll sit nicely. Okay. So we've got that part done. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and get the rest of our items mounted. So we have our, uh, we still have to solder our ground wire. Uh, we're still going to connect our cable. And then we have our RX that we're not connecting. It'll be done at the customer, at the customer's uh, place, okay? So let's go ahead and get our mounts back up and running here. Make sure everything looks good, and it does. Uh, all right, so we'll pull this back here. Gonna get the camera back in place. All right, let's put that down. Here is our cable. And that's gonna fit perfect. Here's our ground wire that needs to be soldered to the ground on the pads. So we're gonna do that. Okay. And uh, let's see, we've got everything else done. Okay, so let's go ahead and solder this to the pads here. And for that, I'm gonna need my, there we go. Need to tin this up, sorry. Verify that that is the right spot I'll be soldering to. So give me one second. Let me put all this stuff here. All right. Okay.
So now, I'm just gonna twist this up. I really don't wanna get rid of this wire right now. Uh, it looks pretty solid and I think it would be good to just leave it like it is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna come around here, take the tin part, make sure that I've got my solder on it. And there we go. So that's done. So I'm going to put this on now. The only thing left is to get our plate. There we go. Okay, so with that said, if everything has been done properly, it should be verified to get all these wires out of the way. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna go ahead now, press this on just like that. Make sure everything looks clean, and it does. Let's get our uh, OSD connection here out. Just connect to that, so that's done. And this has been this ground has been been wound up. Now we're just gonna tuck it over one more time. All right. There we go. Okay. And with that said, we need to put the uh, tops on here. I need to get these screws all even though. Okay. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of these now but I just think that's such a really long screw for that. But let me just go ahead and do it anyway. So I'm down here on this one, so let me just go ahead and... There we go, that's one. So I'm going to do something different here because this screw is not passing through so I'm going to have to turn from the top on this one so I can because if not it's dragging the whole setup down and that's not what I need right now. I need this to just kind of chill a minute and get this plug right in the way. So let me do a third one.
Sorry, I'm trying to spin this and keep it from moving long enough. Forget it. I was going to say long enough for me to get this uh, hex driver up here, but I'm just going to get it to lean a little here. We'll try this way. Yeah, then we'll do the last one here. It's raining pretty bad outside, guys, so we may lose power here in just a second. I don't know. Okay, so I'd say we're pretty good here. So now the test will be to turn it on and see if we have it. Let me go ahead and just finish the last of this here real quick. Camera looks good, everything else looks good. Oh, there you go, we just, just tripped a few breakers. Uh, but that's all right. This whole system's on backup, so nothing to worry about there. All right, so let me go ahead and put this back in. And then from there we can see. Where we're at. Okay. Oh, whoops. Put in the other screws. Put the other ones in. That's my mistake.
All right. So there we go. Everything is now installed. Cadex Tarsier is in inside this. And we should be ready to go. So let me just make sure. Yep. Everything looks good here. All right. Okay. So next thing to do will be to power it on. And verify that everything is good. All right. So there we go. Okay, uh, now this may cut the video out, guys. So if it does, because the the uh, VTX signal has a chance of interfering with the uh, Wi-Fi signal. If it does, then it'll cut our video out. So if it does cut it out uh, and you don't see anything more on this, then you'll know that this worked. And uh, I'll try to send you guys some updated pictures and stuff. Uh, if not, we can just watch and see. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at this here. Okay, we'll be watching this screen. And we're going to clean up this bench before I do that. Because I cannot have this messy bench. So let me put all this in the Caddx bag. I'll just put it in my bag. Okay. Still a bunch of stuff here, so hang tight one second. Make sure. All right, right now, the only thing left for me to be looking for here is the smoke stopper, which is what I'm looking for right now. So I can plug this in and just make sure I've got it handy. And I guess while I'm doing that, I might as well do a continuity test. So I'm going to go straight to the LiPo for, uh, for the, uh, sorry, to the XT30 for that. I'm going to go ahead and power this on. Verify that it's working. All right, and then I want to go right here. Nope. Perfect. All right, so I am going to find, here it is. Okay, so here is our... Um, smoke stopper. Go ahead and plug this in. Let's see what voltage we're at. Is that worth? And what we're looking for now, let me go ahead and take this off. We're looking to make sure that we get video, right? So cross your fingers. And there it is. So we have video. Okay. You guys can see, yeah. All right, so everything's good on this part. Uh, and I am extremely happy with the way this turned out. So there we go. We've got everything hooked up and ready to go. We can go ahead and power this off now. Uh, excellent job uh, getting this all switched out. It came out clean. I'm very happy with the way it looks. So let me just check everything out one more time. And uh, no, I'm satisfied with that, 100%. All right. So now all we are doing is just making sure it's there. And this is going to get boxed up. 
Um, okay, guys. So hold on. Let me go here. All right. So it was it was kind of a what a, an hour and a half job. And to be honest with you, it didn't really need to be that long. Um, but I wanted to take my time because I want the customer to be able to watch it. I know that I had a couple of customers ask me about uh, doing something like this, and it's like you know what, let's just go ahead and knock it out, but take our time to do it so that everybody can follow along. So um, again, all we have left now is I did uh, wire his receiver. He's going to be running a Spectrum receiver, um, well, a 3.3 volt uh, DSMX um, Diversity Lemon L0037 Diversity receiver, and it runs on 3.3. So I did. I'm sitting here messing with these wires. I did hook his RX up already here with the wires, and all he'll have to do is just basically plug in or solder his RX. But the voltage is right and everything else. There we go. Finally. So this is ready to go too, and I'm just going to twist this up just a little bit. Um, so these are ready. Uh, uh, Cadex Vista was removed, and Cadex Tarsier was put in. We're still running the F35, the new Zeus, and everything else uh, looks very clean. So there you go. That's the end of the job on this one. I'm going to box it up now, and uh, let me put it back in the box here. And we're going to get this little sucker on his way to Louisiana. Okay, if you have any questions, guys, as always, please... Uh, sorry, I seem to move a little slower today. It's just been a long day. But there you go. You can always uh, find me at cyclonefbd.com forward slash pages forward slash contact. And then if you will, please follow us on Facebook and always subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. I like getting followers. It's been an uphill battle and it's fun and I appreciate every one of y'all. So other than that, guys, God bless. Go spend time with your family. Please, you don't know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it, okay? And uh, we'll practice some new peace and... Uh, and uh, hopefully we can start seeing everything calm down soon, right? Talk to you later, guys. God bless. Peace. Bye.